What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode of Evolution to Glory. There has been some mental evolutions released. If you've been keeping up to date, you will have seen them. Finisher 1, Finisher 2 and Cut Inside. Now, unfortunately for me, the man I was hoping would fit in both doesn't fit in either in fact. I was hoping Dan James would fit in at least one of them because I did have the plan. I mentioned it last episode, basically I can put Dan James in Founders 1 and 2 here, then into Stop Right There, which gives him a nice little boost. But I was hoping to be able to put him in Finisher or Cut Inside after that. He cannot because both of them are too, it's too fast for both, even on his, rare, his base rare gold card, unfortunately. He has 93 pace, Finisher is 92 and Cut Inside is 88, I believe. However, there is still some decent options for us. If we go look at finisher right now, there is, as we can see on this first page here, the main man, Crescencio Somerville. Now he becomes, okay, it doesn't become anything mental, very fast, decent dribbling, pretty low on the shooting, pretty low on the passing, and he does only have three star skill moves still. But it is progression for him, and we have been waiting to evolve this card for a very long time. And it would be our first dynamic image evolution, which would be pretty damn cool to do. Now, there is also this man right here. Now, I'm not going to click X on him, because when I click X on him, it breaks the game. <laughs> it basically crashes the game, and I have to reload everything. I think the reason for that is because it seems to be happening with a few people's cards that basically Relentless Winger won released months ago when the game first came out it was one of the first evolutions it was a left wing evolution that also gave the position right wing as one of the rewards which means he can play right wing as well as striker left wing and left mid but i don't think the game likes that but he can go into it apparently if you go on the web app on your phone or the companion app you can submit him on there and then it just lets you do it after that once you come into the game. It just doesn't let you click view progression on this section here. It just fully breaks the game. And he would come out to be a pretty similar level to that Somerville. I've got a little picture up on my screen to the left. I'll put it on screen for you now. He would come out to be this card, basically. 93 pace, 91 dribbling. So the both of them, very good. The 91 dribbling specifically, very nice. 82 shooting, a bit low. 75 passing, a bit low. So again, very similar to Somerville. He'd be on his way, but he still wouldn't be groundbreaking, and he would also be only 3-star, 4-star, same as Somerville. So they are two very nice options. I just wish we had something else that we could chain them into, just to give them that extra bit of shooting. If only they fit into cut inside, as well as this one, it would have been perfect. It would have been absolutely perfect. Now there is also a couple of non-leads players that fit in this one, mainly this man, Rafinha. And if you do know anything about Leeds, you know that this guy was a legend for us. He was so good in the Premier League. He was an absolute baller. Now, if we check him out, he looks very, very good. Four-star, five-star, rapid, decent dribbling, decent shooting, okay passing, and pretty good physical as well. Like that card, that just looks fantastic. And I'm not going to lie, I'm slightly considering it. But it would mean I'd have to miss out on either Somerville or Nonto, one of the two, because there is I can only do this this evolution twice. But that Rafinha card is so tempting because it does look naughty. It does look proper naughty, and I do love him as a player. I loved watching him in, watching him in Leeds shirt. It was very, very good. If we take a look at Cut Inside, as far as Leeds players go, there's not really any options, to be honest, other than this Silver Paveda, which, I mean, yeah... It, he can be chained into the the other right wing one. He would fit in both, but I'm just not that bothered about the card. I can't lie. An option that's non leads in this one though that is crazy is this Sane card that I've got. If we have, have a little preview of him, look what he becomes: 90 pace, 90 shooting, 88 passing, 88 dribbling, 89 physical with five star weak foot and three star skill. What I know that card is. Something that is incredibly triggering as well, if we look at this FC Founder 2, this Nonto card, is it fits everything apart from he's 1-2 high on dribbling. If he was not, if he was just 86 dribbling instead of 87, I think I should be able to, I'd have been able to chain him in, into this Founder's evolution and then put him into the right wing evolution and that would have given him 4 star skills as well as the 4 star weak foot 
and the extra boost that it would it would have gotten as well. It would have been disgusting. It would have been so nice. We've got a little bit unlucky to be honest with how close the requirements have fallen for a lot of our players. They're either just too fast or just slightly too much dribbling. None of them have just been on the cusp of fitting. It's been a little bit sad, but the evolutions are getting better. It is a positive thing all around. They are upping their game on the evolution requirements. Hopefully, they're going to fit soon. I'm probably leaning towards putting either Nonto or Somerville into the finisher evolution just because I want to get them upgraded. I'm just going to leave it a few days because I want to see if anything else comes out. If a left wing evolution, for example, does drop, they both can play left wing also. So I want to make sure I get the perfect little chain going for them to get their best card possible. Evolutions that we have active then, we still have this Paddy Bamford to do and I put a Hielder into Budding Starlet and just because it was running out I needed to put someone in, I chose Hielder. These are all squad battles games pretty much as well, we need to play two rivals matches with him at the very end of it but other than that, nothing really, one match in the middle as well so three rivals matches for Hielder and then Paddy Bamford is just very easy, two squad battles matches basically. We're going to jump over to the squad screen in a second, but before we do that, we have a 1 of 3, 83 plus team of the week. Can we get something nice in this, or is it going to be fodder? It's going to be fodder. Although, to be fair, Frimpong is not a bad card, but it's certainly not anything crazy, is it? Yeah, it's basically fodder price, I think, anyway. I don't think team of the week's are that much now, but maybe it's slightly above fodder. He will be getting used in an SBC anyway, no doubt. I'm probably going to put him in the 84 plus times 5 because I want to try and get a bit of them done. I'm going to do a bit of grinding packs, see if I can complete some of them every day to add to that team of the year tally. Alrighty then, here we are at the squad screen. And as you can see, I've put a few loan players in. I've got them in my club. I've had them for a while and I've not really used them. Today is the day I'm going to try and use them. We've got Carlos in a left back. Absolutely one of the best left backs in the game, surely, by looking at them stats. Mental. Skill moves, weak foot, terrible mind. But outside of that, really good. And he does have power shot plus, so who knows, we might get the chance to pop a few bangers in. He's got whip pass too, not bad. And I've put this Alexia Putelas in, mainly because I want to try her out. She's come down quite a lot in price recently, and she's relatively affordable. I think she's probably about 300k if I'm right. And she's got some crazy stats mixed with some very nice play styles, including my favourite one, Finesse Shot. So, I've put her in the midfield and I've put Marquisio at left mid. It does mean, unfortunately, Stewie Boy Dallas has had to sit this one out. We've still got Byram and Ruter in there for the Leeds boys. And Archie, obviously. Now, if we look at the custom tactics, I'm going to be trying a couple of formations. The 4-2-3-1 mainly. And I'm going to be rocking Putelas in the cam spot, Del Piero on the left. But if we look at the instructions, I've put both of them on free roam. See if they get themselves into some nice positions in the free roam. If it don't work, I'll change them back to stick to position or whatever. If that isn't working, I've got the 4 3 3 5, which is a bit more attacking because I've got it on 72 depth. And then we've just basically got Putelas down in the centre mid, Del Piero. As a centre forward false nine, root air, McManaman on either wing. We'll give Putelas a playstyle. I think I want something to do with pace because I am playing a more attacking, so I want a bit more pace about her. The shooting is already pretty mad, passing's pretty mad, drilling's pretty, pretty mad. To be honest, I don't know what. Maybe a hawk? Or to be fair, maybe just an anchor. Just get everything pretty well rounded. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll give her an anchor. That'll boost her up to almost holy gang. Yeah, there we go. She's got some pretty decent defending now, decent physical, and a little boost in pace. I'm happy with that. Carlos, I'm just going to leave him on basic, to be honest. He's only here for eight games, and he's still decent stats without any boost on specifics. He get, gets his three chem boost, which still gives him a nice little boost all round. Let's jump in, then, to our first game of champs for this weekend. Alrighty then, here we go, game number one, and we are against Court, Wack Company, five at the back, terrifying, Z294, Naito, Zico, Rooney and Griezmann, jeez, well in McMahon, nice little tackle, we send Putelas down to Del Piero, keep going Rute, lad over top, cheeky, finish that, finish that, oh beautiful little goal, 1-0, very nice, come on, knock it again, you're faster, you're faster, there we go, 
Inside, Travella. Oh, I took too long. Took too long. Putellas is on the corner for some reason. We want it with this main man here. Here we go. Deli P, first finesse. It's in the bar. Another opportunity though. He does mark it though, so I do need to be a bit careful. He marks it, but just really badly for some reason. There we go. No way. Oh, it's half time as well. I thought it were in. It looked like it were in. Ah. Inside. Alexia. What can Alexia do? Knock it? Oh, she's faster than she says, you know. Decent pass inside as well. Down to Deli P. Finesse that lad. Go on. Get in. Come on. 2 0. Love that. That's a hell of a ball as well. Oh, it's, it's going to be a goal, surely. It is as well. 2 1 all of a sudden. Ready for that incisive pass. Over top, McMahon. Mm, not quite. Can I win the header? Mm, kind of. <laughs> kind of won it. Give it Byron. Come on, Byron, lad. Inside. Ruter. Give over, game. No way have I not scored that one either. It's having a laugh, mate. Last minute of the game. No, 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 game. No way, game. <sighs> Two all. 92nd minute after I've just missed that other chance at the... Oh, my. Extra time. That's jokes. That's jokes. Come on, McMahon, lad. Who's that relentless? I'll take the throw. I'll take the throw. Straight back to him. Can we beat Cordoba? Nah, he's marking me well. Inside. Oh. oh he's just... What? What? what is happening? What is happening? Try it out. Alexia's finesse shot. Oh, come on. Get in. Come on. 3-2. Back to Deli P. Back to Alexia. On the shot. Oh, my God. She seems nice. You know, I might have to purchase her. She Already, I'm enjoying her. See if we can get back to her. In fact, nah. Nah, you know what I'm doing for me, don't you? Finesse shot, baby. There we go. Finally. Come on. 4-2. Back to normal here. Is he going? Paused it. He is as well. Why did he not just leave it bloody 2-0 in the actual game? That's a joke. There we go then. 4-2. And I'll tell you what, that Alexia Putellas. Fantastic. Fantastic. Look at that. 5.1 XG to his 1.4 I had. That should have never been going extra time. Oh, regular ready then. Straight into game number two we go. This guy is rocking Alice on Company Cannavaro. Balde Evo. Dybala Evo, is that, or is that, are they specials or Evos, I don't know. He had Courtois up front, didn't he? Oh, dear. Oh, he's absolutely sent me there. And he's scored. Fair enough, that's 1-0. That's a bit of a joke. What is that? I'm sorry, but how's he fumbled the ball all the way through there? That one's a joke, man. Wow, wow. I, I don't know what to do, mate. I don't know how I'm losing 3 0 to this fella. That's a joke. Three two, but it's ninety first minute, it don't matter. Eh hey dear, that's that's really unfortunate. Man, I don't know how much I'll show of this game because they really want much to it. He just he kept possession. He scored some really terrible goals. Kept possession. I ended up with more XG than him. Le I had like half of his passes, but it's literally just because I couldn't get the ball off him. I was pressuring. I had pressure on every touch. I had 72 depth. I just couldn't get the ball. I just went off camera and played a game of rivals because I needed one more win for the objective to be complete. Luckily, I got the win. Which means we can go claim them. I'm going to have to restart the game first, unfortunately, because of this nonsense. I'll be right back. As I was trying to say, 
We have now completed Division 5 and Division 7 of Win 11 matches. Unfortunately, I've only got 5 out of the 11 for Division 3 because I didn't get to Division 3 until a couple of days ago. And I only have 3 hours left, so I'm not going to be able to grind that, unfortunately. But we can claim these two right now, which are still some half-decent packs. We get an 82x2 and an 80 plus by 10 In the Winter Champions, we also have now 125 Champs Finals, so we can claim that, which gives us an 81x11, another decent pack. And we have also completed our Daily Play, so we can claim all those two very nice couple of PPs, an 83 by 2 and a premium gold players pack. We've also made a bit of season progress which gives us a cheeky little one of three 85 plus PPs so we'll send that right now along with the two 75 pluses. We'll send the 75 pluses first, get them out of the way. That is why we get an 80 raid, nobody cares. In the second one we get an 83 raid, nobody cares. But we do care about this one. One of three, eight to five plus. We want to see a special. Come on. Ah, it's no specials, but we do get an 88 or black, which isn't bad. It will go very nicely towards some SBC down the line. So we'll take him very nicely. When I was playing that game of Rivals also, I took the loans out so that I didn't use them in Rivals instead of Champs. And I put this little card in. Now, she's on one chem, but she was fantastic. The technical plus... I had her on, I changed formation actually, I'll show you that now. I tried out the old trusty 4 triple 2 with a 72 depth tactics and I had Little on the left cam and McManaman on the right cam. And having both of them either side with technical plus, it was very very nice. It just gave me so much opportunity to make a lot of space running down wing basically. And she was great, she scored a banger as well. And like I say, she's only on one camp as it is. For now though, I am going to put Patelas back in to the team, as well as Robert or Carlos for a couple more games. Just want to try him out for a little bit longer, but I am going to be keeping with that 4 triple 2 formation, seeing how that goes. Let's get in to game number 3 I think. We are against Yashin on loan, Maldini Desai. He's got a fair few fireplays in there, that bomb pastore Evo, Eusebio of course. Let's just switch it, switch it. There we go. Sammy Boy Byron wants a little bit of a run. This guy has so many defenders. Finesse, baby! Green time! Let's go. 1-0. Oh wow, that's that's a great ball. Danny Olmo. Probably a goal as well. It is. Wow. 1-0. Oh, he's through again with Eto. He scored again. What on earth? How am I losing again? Well, in Alexia, that's that's good. That's good. Give it Sammy boy. Inside. Mm, not quite there, but it might have worked. It has. All right, all right. Two all. Come on. Nice. Bit technical there. Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm passing it. I'm finessing it. It's a golazo! Come on, 3-2, finally. Keep that run going, Deli P. Knock it. That's it, and again. We're only going for one thing here, boys. Finesse, baby! Come on, 4-2. Tell you what I'm going to do, boys. Actually, I've been using this setting since damn near the start of the game, so I thought it was worth it. But I'm going to turn advanced defending off and go back to tactical. To see if I'm any good with it. I used to love it last year, but I'll try this one out this year. Lovely. <laughs> Alexia, get down this wing before game finishes. Knock it, Rutel lad. Knock it again. Give it Alexia. Ah, that's gonna be game. Is it? Apparently not. It is now. There we go. 4 2 it finished. I'll tell you what, I didn't concede since I changed the defending over. So who knows? Who knows? Oh, riggedy righty then into the next game we go, and they have Van Der Sar. Got Yashin at centre back. Fair enough, he's got a red Muller. Mbappe too. Come on. Oh, who wants it? Who wants it? One of you. Nice. Alexia. Turn. Back. And again. Down to McMahon. Finish that. Oh, that's a goal and a half. That is fantastic bit of play. Love that. 1 0. Come on. Mbappe just absolutely turned me there. 
Wow, fair enough, yeah, fair enough. Oh no, all right, here we go. Sweat Lord. Straight up. That's a good throw. Come on, Rute, lad. Knock it. Keep going, Rute. Come on, all way, all way. Inside. Finesse. Let's go, Rute. Right after our dissing him in last game. Come on, 2 1. That's it. How wide. Look at his defenders, man. Whip. Head on that. Shoot, shoot. Why is he not shot? He just took it down. He took a touch. Nice. Inside. Deli P on the finesse. Not quite, not quite. Keep it in, though. Keep it in. Turn. Backwards. Trevella. That's surely a go. Oh my god. I missed too many sitters. I missed too many sitters. Right, keep the ball for the next 30 seconds. And we've got the dub. We've got the dub. Jeez. Alright. That was a tense one. I'm glad we came away with a win there. He had 0.6 XG to my 2.1. And I only just won. <laughs> oh, I need to start putting my chances away because I do miss some absolute sitters. The amount of times I eat the bar as well. Alright, then here we go in to game number four or five now, I'm not sure. Van Nistelrooy in net, okay, random, he's got centre-back Walker, and Evo Ferguson up top as well, pretty cool. Down. Bit of technical action, see ya, down to Rute. Alexia, bit of skill, back to Rute. bang it, let's go, come on, 1-0. Oh, Alexia, she's so good, she is so good, she's a joke. I've, oh god, I might have to purchase it, you know, but a price is going to plummet. It's just going to keep going lower. What on earth just happened to Archie Gray? He just got absolutely sat down. This is a great counter-attack from him. He's going to whip it, I'm presuming. Oh, that's it. That's a go. Wow. That is sweaty as you like, but it worked for him. 1-0. Fair enough. Ball. Oh. Yes, won it as well. Go on, Deli P, lad. Keep going. Over top. Touch. Edge of box, I see ya. Shoot, finesse, baby. Come on, 2 1. Ready for that L1 triangle? Just a normal triangle, even. Just a normal triangle, even. What a ball from Byron. Finished off by McMahon. Love that. Come on. Back to Alexia. Inside. Down to Deli P. In kick, green time. Oh, he saved it into his own net. 4-1. He's 4-1 down. He's just keeping it with his centre-back for some reason. So, he's welcome to do that until time runs out. There we go. That is indeed game then. Very nice. Little 4-1 victory. And I say, I enjoyed that one. Five games in now then. We have 4-1. It's an alright start. I do regret losing that game. I could have easily won that. We should be 5-0 really. But we move... Let's get in to some more right now. Game number six then. We are against Courtois, Red Lucio, Maldini, De Jong, I believe Zidane, Butragueno, Future Martinelli. Oh, this guy loves... Oh my god, yeah. I hate Butragueno of a passion. This guy's quite good at technical. Great down. She's on, isn't she, surely? Lovely stuff, Alexia. Finish that. That's got to be. That's fantastic. That, honestly, Putelas is fantastic. I'll take that, thank you. And I'll finish that, thank you. Putelas, come on. 2-1. My God, it's a pain. Honestly, this guy with his boot I can't touch him. Just don't be a red card, please. I don't know if it is. He's going top left. Oh, he's gone down middle. Ah, two all. I didn't get sent off at the very least. Nice. Down to Rute. Hold it up. Finish that. Bang. Let's go. Lovely list though. 3 2. Come on. See if we can get it. Deli P on edge of box. Finesse. Baby. Come on. 4 2. Oh, well. All right. <laughs> he, he left at half time. I'll take that. Cheeky little 4 2 Dubsky. Straight into the next one we go. 
And this guy, Michael Van Dijk Gomez Zizou, Sour Eusebio Henri, he's got that Marlon Evo too. Oh, I've given him a pen as well. Oh my god. I literally. Oh, this all came from. Come on, we can get the save off. Where's he going? Going right. Oh, it don't matter. It don't matter. Celebrating too after that. Jeez. Inside. Nice. Down. Oh, top. Someone help me. Hedge a box. Finesse! Schmeichel! He's the anti finesse keeper, man. He really is. Edge of box again. We're going to keep trying it, though. We're going to keep trying it. Oh my god, if he wasn't stood on line, that would have been a goal as well. Give him it back. Finish that one. Finish that one. Let's go. Come on. 1 0. Oh, that's a ball. Finish as well. Finish as well. Ah, it's 2 1. Last attack. Can we get it? Nah, it's going to be half time, isn't it? Or is it? Don't give him a... Oh, it's going to give him a chance. Oh, is he on? He actually is onside. It's the 47th minute with one added, man. Wow, I'll take that. That's a joke. Come on. Yeah, that's a goal. Ah, Fair enough. I had the chance to equalise. I bottled it and he's gone and scored. 4-2. It's going to be a loss. What can we do? To be fair, looking at match stats, he, he did edge it. He had a bit more XG than me. So, can't complain too much. I had a hell of a lot more passes, though. Unfortunately for us, that is now Carlos's last game because he's only got one game left, but I want to keep him in the club. So we're going to take him out. Lizarazu might have to come back in. I don't know if we have anyone else, to be honest. Which does, unfortunately, drop a few people on Kem because they're not getting that extra icon, Kem. Tell you what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to give Ruter a little break. We're going to bring this Muller on. Give him a little run out. Not only does it help with chemistry, he is just, obviously, much better card than that Ruter. We'll put Ruter on bench. He can, uh, he can make some substitute appearances. And we are against checking net, Marquinhos, Hernandez, Evo, a couple of Evos in midfield as well, and Muani up top, Evo, decent. Technical action, wait for that space. Muller, lad. Need some help now, though. Up top. Straight down, go on, Byron, lad. Who are we giving it to? Giving it to Deli P. Finesse, let's go, 1 0. Beautiful. And again. Finish that Muller. Finesse shot, baby. 2-0. And I think he might be out of here. He is indeed. Come on. Up oh, next, we've got Schmeichel, Van Dijk, Blanc, Torre, Balak, Zico, Eusebio, Di Natale, Kaka. Come on, McMahon. Bit of a dribbling. Bit of a Cali. Find Putellas. Come on. She's so good. She's so good. Oh, well in. Great interception. And again. Then I say Alexia finishes it, of course she does. She's so good. Oh, I might have to buy her. Head on that. He has as well. Finesse. Oh satisfying. Come on. <laughs> 3 1. There we go. Very nice win that. I enjoyed that one again. Alexia is just different gravy, mate. She's so good. Is this what it's like to have nice players? 7 and 2 then so far. We've played 9 matches. Going into the 10th, if we can win it, I'll be very happy with 8 and 2 after the first 10. If we lose 7 and 3, it'll be a bit more of an average weekend looking like. Alrighty then. Alisson in net. Blanc, Van Dijk, Mendy. Very meta defence. Now Gleish, Zizou and Mbappe. Just a full meta team really. Technicale action. Keep going, Deli P. On the finesse. Let's go. Off the kickoff. 1-0. Come on. Back. Finesse. Let's go. 2-0. Come on, and he might be out of here, you know. He is. Let's go. I'm putting that down to Patelas again on that wing, honestly. <laughs> She's such a joke. 2-0, Dubsky. Straight away. Let's go.
There we have it then, nice quick easy 2-0 rage quit. Puts us to that 8-2 and two that we were wanting. 10 games left, but I am going to be playing them in next video. The beauty of it as well, we still have another 13 games left on this Patelas, so I should be able to finish Weekend League off with her, which will be very nice because she's making such a difference. We're going to leave it there for today's episode then. It's been a very, very Patelas based episode. We've got them Evos to think about. Let me know in the comments who you think I should do. Should I put Nonto in? Should I put Somerville in? Or shall I wait around and see if I left wing drops? See if I can get a better chain off. Because at the minute, they're going to be an 83 raid card. They're not going to be that usable. We need a chain, really. If you have enjoyed, please do drop a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe, of course. But for now, 